my favorite oxymoron, rhythm guitarist. So with Evan's drum heads, they have this thing called EMAD, and it's a system uh, where the acronym for EMAD actually stands for Externally Mounting, Externally Mounted Adjustable Dampening mm. System. So EMAD system is what it actually is. Externally Mounting Adjustable Dampening System. So. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, that's fun stuff. That is such fun stuff. Ooh. Make it a, a feather boa. You can make it a, a snake. You can, <laughs> you can make it in a jump rope. I don't know. I don't know how you want to do it. Or something else like. <laughs> that sort of thing. Anyways, let's, let's get rid of that. Alright, get out of here. Oh. So in case you didn't know, this is something that comes from Evan's Drumheads. Interesting that it's got, see like the aquarium will have it on the inside going around here. So you'll have, basically it'll be kind of like this, right? So, and depending on which ones you get, like Super Kick 1 or 2, uh, they have a different thickness to them. Some of them are some with the aquariums are really wide like that. This one, Evans actually has this on the outside. You have the foam here, then you've got this piece of plastic that covers it. But even under that plastic, there's another little strip of foam, a very, looks like a very thin layer of it. Yeah, you can even tell back here, it's actually a separate piece of that. Punchy, really punchy, just from doing this. Shakes the eardrums a little bit. <laughs> wow. And that's kind of what I'm looking for is more attack. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that when I'm on stage, I don't really use monitors anymore. So with that being said, I need something that I can hear. And I play in a lot of small places. And some places I can really hear the kick, like when I play the gig between two toilets. But when I play other places, I really cannot hear the kick. It's just like the whole definition of it just goes out the window. Uh, I, you can hear it out front, but back where I'm sitting, I can't hear it at all. In terms of this particular one, it's two 10 milliliter films that are on top of each other. So you have, it's two ply. What that means. And you got the two thickest ones on top of each other. Now some of the other ones they'll have may have like a 10 milliliter and then like a, a 7 milliliter for example. But this one has two 10s and it's 22 inch standard bass drum size that I have. And uh, for this one it is ideal for both kinds of music. Rock and metal. Uh, and if it's not metal it's crap. Alright? So the thing about this type of drum head is that in terms of attack and durability, they're high up on the charts. In fact, durability is the highest thing on here and attack is just below that. Now, in terms of sustain and tone, they're at the bottom of the list pretty much because you're getting to the point now where you're just basically going in for an attack, a punch, kick. It almost sounds like a video game for crying out loud. <laughs> Actually came with oh I didn't know that we're over the buck thing see this is sometimes this is what happens when you don't read or you can't read now see it gives me one EQ patch right there EQ patch with the EMAD you can do three different things you can either have it with the thinner foam ring like this one you can have the wider one which is the one I'm actually putting on there and we're gonna try that one out I mean we can go with both but not at the same time the <laughs> And then the third option would be to actually use it without the foam and just have the tray that's um, glued on there. If you wanted to add to it, you could add it on the other side. And I'm trying to figure out how you would do this. I guess you would do it here. Now my next question is, how does this stick on? 
Did I not watch the commercial? Jump! I'm not trying to make this look bad, I'm just trying to figure this thing out. I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. Hang on, hang on. I got it. I think I got it. It's not glued. This part is with that little piece back here. But this isn't. I'm going to try something. I want to do this without any muffling other than what's on here, you know, what's going to be put on there. I don't want any internal muffling. I don't want any sheets, blankets, pillows, none of that crap. Um, and the reason for that is because I want to try and see how it sounds, but I also want to see how it reacts. The point that I'm trying to make is that if I'm playing with the masters and I've got the pedal up to here, you know, I'm playing as I'm supposed to be, the thing is, is that the beater would stutter. So when it would hit, it's like that. And that's as, even as flat as I can get that against it. That's what happens with this drum, and I don't know why that is. I tried a couple of different drum heads. I took the front drum head off. I tightened the batter head, loosened the batter head, and eventually it just got, even with this foam on here, it still would do that. So when I took it and played a few shows, I kept running into this problem. And I'm the kind of player that when I hit, that beater stays on the head. So having to immediately change technique after 20 some years is not gonna happen. Uh, Cause I just didn't have time for it. I'd have to spend weeks and months rehearsing how to play again and rebalance. I don't have time for it, I don't. Not to do all of that just for the purpose of, of a drum head being, you know, stuttering a little bit. So I ended up having to put some laundry in there. <laughs> <laughs> to keep that and that's how I found out that the head would stop shaking when the beater would hit is that if you put something in there as long as it has some extra contact it wouldn't do it so that's what I'm a little worried about with the EMAD is that even though it's not felt and it does have the tray already on there and you've got different types of foam you can use different um, as far as variations in terms of width I don't know if it's still going to do the same thing I want to have no laundry in my bass drum, but we'll see what happens. Well, I guess the next thing we get to do is to slap it on the drum and test it out.
And now it's time for the Circle of Fifths here on Speaking in Drums. that stands for is externally mounted adjustable shit <laughs> dampening system okay and it kind of just depends again what's available if i need something right then and there does the guitar center have it Oh, and I want to go over this too. I've got nearly 10,000 views on a video for this DW battle that started 3 years ago. Um, thank you so much. I'm going to celebrate when I hit the 10,000 mark, but, um, that was kind of a thing where I just set it on the table and talked about it and didn't really go into a whole lot of stuff. I don't even think I played anything on it. I haven't even seen the video in forever. When you have a million dollar smile like mine that cost about $5,000, you want to ensure your investment will last you for years to come. Sure, you know that you should brush your teeth at least once daily, floss a few times a week, but there's much debate over what type of mouthwash is best for you. Should it contain alcohol? Is it TSA approved? While you're given so many options and can't decide, there is a mouthwash I've used for 17 years straight. Bourbon. The mouthwash you can drink. Get a shot of that. Swish thoroughly. And set those germs and gums on fire. Oh. <laughs> you can gargle if you're a real man. <laughs> <laughs> and when you're done, finish it off. Swallow. Don't spit. <laughs> Bourbon. Makes you feel good and tastes pretty good too. <laughs> Give it a shot. Shut up! <laughs> 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 